Now the judge has to also consider, in addition to the Charter and the CSIS Act, they have to consider something like rule of law. They have to consider things like principles of fundamental justice, whatever that is. Allow me to provide some context for that clip. Conservative MP Diane Ablonsi was responding to a suggested amendment to a section of the anti-terror bill that would allow judges to issue warrants in secret to CSIS that violate the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. So just to clarify for Ms. Ablonsi, the traditional role of a judge in a civilized society is to uphold the rule of law. This ensures that people don't steal from other people just because they feel like it and don't murder each other with impunity and that the government doesn't torture its opponents and throw them out of helicopters. It's all based on these things called principles of fundamental justice. Principles like people shouldn't steal or murder or torture. Principles that are innately understood as basic morality. And if the rule of law is going to be legitimate and not pointless, it needs to be followed by everyone, including CSIS, no matter how much they want to keep us safe. And it shouldn't be enforced in secret because secret law enforcement tends to have a poor track record and leads to things like rampant abuse, corruption, and the Stasi. So the reason it's important for judges to only issue warrants that are consistent with the rule of law and principles of fundamental justice is because Canadians value those things and don't want to sacrifice them based on cheap fear-mongering over terrorist threats that are less likely to kill us than lightning or a vending machine.